Hi, this is a quick video about how to insert a graph um, or a, another picture into a Google Doc in such a way that allows you to add things to the graph and, and uh, modify it in some way. Um, I've got a graph of a ball thrown upwards um, from Logger Pro. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot of this graph. You can either take the, whole, take the shot of the whole screen or I like to usually uh, just choose a selection of the screen. Um, however you want to do that is fine. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it into my Google Doc. Um, but I'm not going to just paste it into the Google Doc itself. Um, that works, um, but, if we, but we, get, we can't actually change the graph in any way. So I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead, is I'm going to go to Insert Drawing. Not Insert Image, but Insert Drawing and then I'm going to paste it, control V, in the drawing. This allows me to like, add things to the graph. For example, if I wanted to show tangent lines um, on this position versus time graph where each tangent line shows the instantaneous velocity or the slope of the tangent line shows the instantaneous velocity at a specific clock reading, I would want to show little lines to see how those tangent lines change. I can do that now, and I wouldn't be able to do that otherwise. So if I select the line tool, I can make a tangent line that looks like this, um, and I can make a tangent line that looks like this. If I want to move the tangent lines around, I have to choose this arrow tool, and then I can click and drag the tangent line. If I want to change the thickness of the line, I can do that here. If I want to change the color of the line, I can do that here. Um, by the way, if, I, if I've made lines of a certain thickness and color and I want to copy them, um, I can either hit uh, Control c and then Control v to copy them, and then I can uh, change the length and, and the position however I want to. For example, I could just like move this one up here to show that at the very tippy top of the ball's path, the tangent line has a slope of zero. Um, uh, but yeah, so the, the nice thing is like if I want to change the thickness and color, I don't have to do that every time. I can also just click on, um, hold down option and click and drag and this will make a new line that I can then change however I want to. The nice thing about this is after I save and close, the drawing that's in my Google Doc is the drawing with the lines. I don't have to think about the, the graph as separately from these lines, they're kind of all together. If I want to change the change that again, all I have to do is double click on that drawing, and I can go in and change however I, uh, whatever I want to, um, and then I can add my figure number and say like this shows the um, the changing height of a ball, um, etc. Um, you get the idea. Uh, but this is often very powerful. By the way, if you want to um, point something out that's especially interesting. Um, for example, if I wanted to point out that the top of this had a slope of zero, I could choose the line tool and make a line with an arrow on the end. Um, that could be a nice way of pointing out how important like this specific part of the graph is. And when I hit save and close, that arrow is on my graph.